Hey, James here from Raisley, here to help you bring your fundraising ideas to life. Now, one of the common questions I get is, how would I see what my fundraisers and donors see in my campaign? Well, why don't we explore this as I help you hop into their shoes. I know it's simple, but it's worth starting here. What does your site look like to others? In case you missed it, you can use the live site link in your campaign sidebar. But before you just click, pull up your browser options to give you the option to open in incognito window. Why you ask? Well, opening your site in an incognito window provides you with a clean first time look on your page. It disregards any automatic logins or cookies or cache items or history, making the page you get as a good representation of what someone coming to your site for the first time will see. I do this all the time. So add it to your bank of good web practice. Let me show you the easiest and best way to set up a dummy user account so that you can log in as that user and see what's going on. Firstly, let's create the user. From the sidebar, select people and then new. Now I use the name dummy user and I'll even add in my own avatar. But now here's a trick. We want to enter a real email account so that we can test messages and such. But most likely you've already used your email on sign up. Well, the way around this is to create an alias. To do that, you simply enter your email address, but after the prefix, add the plus symbol and then whatever word you want after. But here I'm going to go with user. What this will do is create an alias email, but still direct all the emails to your normal account. It's pretty cool and I reckon you'll use it a fair bit. Now, feel free to enter the rest of the info, or you can just leave it. Now that a user is added, I just want to add in a new password, and I'll make sure it's something that I can remember. Now, let's go ahead, and we can add some donations for them. Head to your campaign site and make donations using the dummy user's email and test credit card. I have Stripe connected, so I can do this, but if PayPal, you will need to use your sandbox. I've now added a single donation and also a regular donation. I now want to give them a profile in my peer-to-peer -peer campaign. So to do that from the campaign sidebar, just select profiles, the new profile, and then fill in the details. Under select a profile owner, search for your dummy user and select that one. Hit save and you're done. There we have it. We've set up our dummy user and profile. Open up your live site. Here we're going to go into the login page where we can see the account and profile settings for this user. Now, every campaign has a login page accessible just by adding forward slash login to the end of the campaign's URL. Now, once logged in, I can now view all the account options available from changing my details to updating payment details also. For regular donors, they have the ability to pause, resume, and also cancel payments. If you just want to see the user's profile dashboard, you can also view it here. This is great as you look to configure the dashboard and the profile page for, for peer-to-peer -peer campaigns. Now you may not have set up a peer-to-peer -peer campaign, but instead an appeal campaign enabled with regular giving. Well, wouldn't it be good if your regular givers could access their account and their payment details? Let me show you how. The link for regular givers to their account settings is actually given in the regular giver welcome message. From this, they have access to their account, so it's worth setting up this email well if you're looking to build a database full of regular donors. Well, I hope you've learned some new skills in Raisley and be sure to shoot me a message. Just use in the comments below if you have any questions. Otherwise, like and subscribe and keep enjoying creating in Raisley.